What's going on guys? Uh, just a quick video today to show you how to make a balloon float out of stuff that you pretty much probably already have laying around. Simple, cheap and effective. So you want to go fishing for the big fish out in the surf and you want to use a balloon as a float and you want it to detach from your line easily. This is the video you want to be watching. Alright guys, hopefully you can see what we've got here. So, so we've got a couple of these snap swivel things. Don't need that one on there. Okay, so we've got a couple of those. Got our bread clip, our leader line, a little bit of sandpaper, our drill. This is just my safety wood so that I don't cut through this decent piece of ply. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our bread clip. We're going to sit it there like this. Just get a line up a nice little, nice and slow, otherwise they split. A nice little hole of it like that. Now they got these rough edges on here which can pop balloons, so we're just gonna take those down. And take much round off the corners. Like so. smooth that down so that's all good to go now we're going to take one of these one of these snips and snaps and get hold of this line I'm just using a big heavy heavy line so that you get a good idea and we're going to rig it on however you'd normally rig it on How you go about it, but this is what I do when it wants to behave itself. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough for what I want to show you today. I'm just going to move that dog in. Don't need him anymore. Now. This will go down to your hooks, so you'll put your hooks on this end. This comes up to where you want your bread clip. Now, how we do this is we simply put this through there, clip it like that. Okay, okay, so that's that. This end here. Quickly throw a hook on here. God. Oh, this ain't going to be perfect, but it'll do. Put that through there. That'll hold for what we want. Obviously, once you've done that, you can stick them off. So now, as you see, you have mm -hmm. down to your hook, up to your snap trace. Now this here, let's just say this is the fishing rod. And on your fishing rod, you will have this I tie on. So I'm not even gonna tie this, I'm just gonna literally So finicky. Alright, so let's get this off out of the way so we can see what we're doing. So, this is our fishing rod. Alright, this is our fishing rod. That was from the fishing rod down to your, your snap trace. Just simply snaps on the side here with a loose wheel, like so. 
it's closed off. This is obviously made to whatever length you want it. And Mr. Balloon here. Whatever size you're going to float your balloon, just tie him off. Now, try not to go through up here. Go through it like down closer if you can. Just snag him off like that. And put him in the water. We put your bait on him, put him in the water. Now, hopefully what happens is that he's in there, he's floating on the surface. And the fish comes, off it comes. And you got your fish here. Use biodegradable balloons, guys. I can't reiterate that enough. Like use biodegradable balloons, guys, so the turtles don't eat them, get them stuck in their throat. Whatever they get, what happens to them, it kills them. So use biodegradable ones. They um, literally just disappear in the water in a couple of days, and they're gone. You know, they just degrade. So hope you enjoyed that tip. Hopefully you can come up with some tips of your own. You can get back to us and relay some information to us and we can get back to you with some other tips that we've got. Uh, we do do live streams. We're going live. So make sure you check us out when we go live. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. All right, guys. I hope you found it interesting and informative. As I said, you can make it out of the stuff that's laying around in the house and laying around your tackle box already. So very easy, very cheap, very efficient. So, so hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Drop a sub. And hit the alert button if you want to stay tuned for future updates, videos, and when we go live. And if you want to help support the channel, check out the Patreon link down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.